right, so good morning or good afternoon. It's Miss Robinson, and this is your Tuesday 324 20 assignment Simple 3D Form Cylinder Still Life. This is the cylinder that I chose to draw. You can choose from a variety of different cylinders you have at your house, such as toilet paper roll. Oh, look at this peaceful, serene scene where everybody has all the toilet paper they need. Or a can of dog food. Or a can of soup like Andy Warhol. Anything cylindrical is going to be great for this assignment, all right? Some things that you're gonna wanna remember are Cylinders have an ellipse at the top. If you're looking at them from straight ahead, they're going to have a curve at the bottom. A lot of people make the mistake of adding a straight line there. That's not going to look like a cylinder. You also want to make sure that you add your cast shadow. I added multiple cast shadows because I could see them. If you see multiples, try to draw all of them. If you just see one shadow coming from your object, try to draw just that one. So I'm going to get started drawing mine now. I'm going to actually remove this. All right. And I'm drawing... The plan for this is to draw a contour drawing today of your cylinder, and then we will add shading to it tomorrow. So I'm starting with an ellipse, a really wide ellipse here, and I'm trying to draw around my phone, which I'm using for a camera. Okay, so I use that muscle memory method right there to get the sort of guidelines for my ellipse. Okay, I'm going to start with that and erase some of these extra lines. And try to um, pay attention to the proportions of your cylinder, like, you know, how tall is it compared to how wide the top is? I know that mine needs to be shorter than it is wide, so I'm going to try something like this. Maybe I'll just put a little mark right there. Add my vertical. It's really hard to draw around my camera, I mean my phone. But I am doing it. I will get better at it. Okay. I'm gonna go to the same destination down here. Okay, and remember, art is about problem solving. You will make mistakes, you're going to, so plan on making those mistakes and problem solving. Sometimes you end up with something, sometimes your mistakes turn out to be super cool and make your artwork a little better than you ever thought it could be, more interesting than you thought it could be. Sometimes there are mistakes that you make are just going to be things you want to correct. Okay, so I'm gonna move on so that we have a shorter video this time. And when I was looking at my cylinder, my toilet paper roll cylinder, cylinder I was seeing um, a lot of, oh, different shadows on the roll of toilet paper itself. Get that in there a little bit better. Okay, it's basically what we want for the top. Okay, so we've got our roll of toilet paper here. I am going to have to skip ahead and um, show you what it looks like after I start drawing some of the shadows that I saw on the toilet paper roll. And then I'll proceed from that point to save a little time in the video. Okay, so if you look closely at this roll of toilet paper that I'm drawing, you'll see that there are multiple shadows here. There's like 
this is the darkest area, right? And there's a really, really light area there. There's a little bit, well, slightly lighter than the darkest area here, and then even lighter, and then it's super light over here. Um, I also noticed some kind of a darker area here. Can't find that with my pencil. Ooh, okay. Um, and then, um, of course, we've got our super dark cast shadow right here. So I kind of wish I'd said this from the beginning, but um, you can draw your own cylinder that you find at your house. You know, soup can, any kind of um, canned vegetable product, um, toilet paper, paper towel roll, anything that's cylindrical. Or you can draw <clears throat> this toilet paper roll along with me if you want to practice that way. It's up to you. I'm adding some of those, those extra little detail areas that are have differences in value. I think my eyes are very sensitive to changes in lightness and darkness, so I can see some things that sometimes other people can't. Sometimes I miss things though. There's a weird little dark, it's like a, an indentation in the toilet paper roll right there. I'm just gonna kind of sketch that in. We're doing a contour drawing right now because we're gonna add the shading tomorrow. This cast shadow has been tricky for me to get, so I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to reproduce that here, but the angle is very, very tricky. I'm gonna try to do a little better than my first time. <clears throat> this is coming down and it disappears under the roll of toilet paper. Right in here someplace, it just disappears right underneath. So later this part's going to become shaded in. Take this little mark off. Make that a little more straight. All right, so then we're going to kind of make this really strange. I think I want to extend this over a little more. I'm gonna make it a little longer. This is a hard to capture shape for me. It does something like this, and then it comes back to the toilet paper roll and looks much wider there. Okay, not too bad. Take that part off. And we're doing pretty good on time. I'm just going to work on this a little bit longer and then um, give you a chance to work on yours. This part is thinner here. This is, this is where I'm talking about multiple shadows. When I'm looking at this roll of toilet paper set up in front of that super peaceful little painting over there, I um, notice there are multiple cast shadows from, I guess, multiple light sources. I really like trying to capture those things in my artwork. They're sort of mysterious in a way. Maybe it's just me. Okay, so we're gonna come back around with this one and have it, it has to disappear back into the others here. Clean that up a little bit. Okay. Not bad. And, um, you can create a background for yours. I think I've got this a little higher than I want it. Um, you can create a background for yours or not. I'm using the background that, that just happened to be behind my roll of toilet paper. You can do that or you can um, just draw the object and um, add like a horizon line behind it. Let's do that for this one so you can see what I'm talking about. And then we're going to be stopping for today so that this video is much shorter and doesn't take more than seven hours to download with our internet at home. Okay, so we're going to leave it like that. Let's say we want to add a cache, I mean a um, horizon line back here. Make it look like this toilet paper roll is on a surface. This is the surface. This is behind the surface, like the wall, the rest of the room. All right, so your challenge is to find a cylinder. Draw it as realistically as you can. Really pay attention to its three-dimensional form and add 
lines in your contour drawing of that cylinder that represent changes in value. Wherever the cylinder looks darkest, you know, add a line showing the edge of that area. Where it looks a little bit lighter, add a line showing the edge of that area. Um, draw the shape of your cast shadow, and we will go from there tomorrow. All right, thanks a lot, and have a great day.